Experimenting with Rotoscope by Emma Tay, June 2020. Over the years, many artists and animation companies have begun to spread their mediums and their ways of animating objects, characters, and sceneries. And the most common ways that animation companies usually create their films would be to hand draw everything first, then to animate digitally, or use 3D softwares to animate non-existent things. However, recently I have been discovering more animation films utilizing rotoscoping for an easier and a more dynamic motion. So what is rotoscoping? Rotoscoping is an animation technique where you trace over an actual video clip frame by frame. However, when I first found these videos of rotoscoping, I personally was not a fan of how the tracing looked and preferred to hand draw everything first. Then I went to watch animation films that used rotoscoping and then blend with other techniques for a better quality animation. And I became more curious about how I can use a rotoscope in the future and wanted to try it out for myself for this project. So then I went on to research different ways people incorporate or use rotoscoping technique in an animation and found out that there were many ways to use it. And these are just some of the ways you can apply a rotoscope. And the first one is that you use rotoscope only to create your whole animation, which allows you to have a very detailed and realistic animation product. And the second one is that you overlap the tracing of the rotoscope with different mediums to create a surreal look and carry out a certain style in the animation. And third, you can blend with non-rotoscope animation, where you only use rotoscoping for specific scenes and blend it with hand-drawn scenes to create a more unique and creative animation. So for this project, I personally use Clip Studio Paint, which is a popular animation uh, software in Japan. And the reason why I chose to use this instead of like Adobe After Effects is because it's way easier to upload the video and just do rotoscoping overall. But you can also do rotoscoping through um, software such as Blender and Adobe After Effects. And if you want to do it more professionally, then you can use software such as Nuke by Foundry. So this is what my workspace looks like in Clip Studio Paint, and the first thing I did for this project was that I took a short video of my sister walking and uploaded it into the software so I can trace it. And this is the process of me tracing each video clip frame by frame, and frame by frame meaning that I am using 24 frame rate. And this is the process of me painting over each of the clips to blend it with the rest of my animation. And you can apply rotoscoping according to your style of art. So throughout this project, I learned that some of the pros of uh, using rotoscope is that it allows you to have accurate motions and realistic scenes in your animation. And it's also easy to animate regardless of your art skill. But the cons were that it may be time consuming because you have to animate for, uh, clip by clip and it may lose dramatic movements and emphasis in your animation. So this is my final product. And as you can see, I only applied rotoscoping for the last two to three seconds of the whole animation. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to compare myself of me using rotoscoping and me using only hand drawing. And you can clearly see the difference between the quality of the movements and how smooth the motions are. And before this whole project started, I never got to experiment with rotoscoping or knew what rotoscoping really was. But as I was working on this, I found out that there were many uses of um, rotoscoping that I could use in the future. So even if rotoscoping may sound new to you, you can always try them on your own to include in your future projects. Thank you.